What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Green Bay Packers versus New England Patriots. Week 4 NFL matchup going down Sunday, October 2nd, 2022. Before we get to that free pick, gotta let you guys know at PickDogs.com. We're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed and also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer. The link in the description of this video below. Also in the description of this video below, click the join button for more information on our YouTube VIP and premium passes. A great way to get yourself some premium content for an awesome price. Those VIP and premium passes will ensure that every single day you're getting plays from Mitch Rod and myself. It's one of the best values going in sports handicapping today. It's something that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket, something that you take advantage of. But let's get to this one between the Green Bay Packers and the New England Patriots. And the Green Bay Packers coming into this one 2-1 and one on the year, 2-1 and one against the spread after a 14-12 uh, to 12 win over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in their last game. Back-to-back -back victories, and uh, it wasn't necessarily a pretty win, but it was still effective as the, uh, the, uh, the Packers emerged with the victory in that one. Meanwhile... New England coming into this one 1-2, one like I said, 0-2-1 uh, oh, against the spread after a 37-28 loss at the hands of the Baltimore Ravens. Now, obviously, the news for the New England Patriots is that Mac Jones is going to be out for a little while with an ankle issue. Looks like he managed to avoid surgery. Not 100% sure you know, how long he's going to be out. They haven't said that for sure yet, but you know, it's going to at least be for this game. And you know that leaves the reins to Brian Hoyer. You know, a journeyman backup, and he's we've seen him in a starting role before as well, I think, for the Cleveland Browns. But um, it doesn't change the fact that he's still the backup. I would like you know, to see Mac Jones back out there. I'll admit I'm a Patriots fan. Maybe this is the price we pay for, you know, two decades of, you know, <laughs> winning seasons and, and six Super Bowls. Yeah, six Super Bowls. But um, it, it is what it is. You know, Mac Jones was, was having issues um, sort of adjusting Last season, he had a decent season. This year, he sort of had trouble get going. Then the injury didn't really help either. And then, you know, now you have to go to Green Bay, get nine and a half points with a backup quarterback so you can understand sort of where the line is, where it is. Green Bay, on the other hand, well, they struggled in that opener against Minnesota, got the win against Chicago, and then got the win against Tampa Bay. It was more about the defense getting the job done there than anything else. And you know, that's still the story, I think, for a Green Bay offense. It's only scoring 16 points per game this season. They're ninth in terms of rushing the football, putting up 127 rushing yards per game. But the problem is, is I think that that might feed into the game plan here for the New England Patriots. You know, Bill Belichick is a master game planner. There's no, you know, that's not even me, the homer, the fan in me saying that. It's, it's, the, it's the honest truth. He knows how to game plan. He coaches his guys up. Doesn't matter who's in the lineup, he will make do. And this kind of game plays into Belichick's hand. I think he's going to run the football as much as possible. He's going to basically, I don't want to say render Brian Hoyer in, ineffective, but I don't think you're going to see more than 20 pass attempts for Brian Hoyer in this game. I think it's going to be run, 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 run for the Patriots. Keep Aaron Rodgers on the sideline. And could work. I mean, it's. I think this is going to be another low-scoring game. That's why the total is set where it is, 39.5. Maybe lean towards the under. But I'm going to take my chances with the New England Patriots plus the points in this one. I think this could be one of those ugly, you know, 20 to 13 kind of games, 20 to 14 kind of games, or even, you know, like 21 to 13. But either way, I like the Patriots getting nearly double digits in this one. That's going to be my free pick. But if you're looking for best bets for myself or any of our other world-class handicappers, Check out Pick Dogs Premium and make sure you use this promo code 15 off 15 off all one word, all lowercase, for 15% off your purchase at Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs, make sure you check out our free betting tools, some of the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.